Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess from Handmade by Jess. I'm going to show you how I duped two projects that I found on Pinterest. And on the first project here, I'm going to use the tumbling tower blocks from the Jenga game that the Dollar Tree has. I'm going to group them up into threes and I'm going to like crisscross them and I'm going to do three groups of four and two layers. You'll see what I mean here. It's easier to show you than explain it. Um, it was just kind of laying everything out, making sure it was going to work how I wanted it to. And uh, those little pallets there are from the Dollar Tree. Also, you could even use those as an alternative. If you didn't want to glue the Jenga blocks, you can get a couple of those little pallets and basically do the same thing here. And um, if you wanted to, on the other project that we're doing also, you could use the Jenga blocks for that also if you wanted to build those. I chose to use a few pieces of scrap wood that I had in my garage. So that's what I'll be using. Um, but back to the task at hand. Uh, what I'm doing here is just, you know, using tight bond wood glue to secure my blocks together. And I'm, like I said, I'm doing groups of three, staggering the positions and doing two layers to make a complete square there. Nice, thick square. And I'll show again here, right there. They're almost exactly the same size as those pallets. So I'll make three of those. And I'm finishing up the last one here. And then we'll let those set aside to let that glue dry and set and here's the pieces of scrap wood that I sanded down in my garage I'm gonna take a couple more pieces of the Jenga blocks and I'll stain those also and I'm using Rust-Oleum's barn red wood stain I got this can at Ollie's for $3.99 I bought it last year I couldn't believe it was sitting there I, I have actually used this on a lot of projects and it it's a big can so it's going to go pretty far but it's a beautiful color i love this color so i just wanted to go ahead and use that here and uh don't do what i'm doing i was in a hurry uh, i was <laughs> having to get my kids off the bus i just wanted to film this part real quick so i just grabbed some paper towels thinking that would be fine just to throw some stain on this wood and no it is not fine <laughs> do not use paper towels get a piece of cloth or an old piece of fabric anything anything but paper towel that stain actually like disintegrates and eats away at the paper towels and i had to throw them away and go get a piece of scrap fabric anyway and finish staining my wood here so that's what I'll do. I'll stain these and the little Jenga blocks I picked out just as an extra security. Um, so they stand properly if there's a, you know, a space where I'm going to put them that they're going to be uneven or anything like that. That'll give them a little bit of stability in the back to be able to stand up. So we'll get those stained and then we'll set those aside to dry. And we'll move back to the other project oh i'm sorry we're gonna stencil i've let them dry and now we're gonna stencil them okay and i used cricut removable vinyl again to stencil with here i bought a pack of 12 by 12 sheets off of amazon a couple years ago it's just a variety of colors and i'm just going through them and i'll go ahead and put all my stencils on outline them in tape we're going to use waverly's white and chalk paint and my roller brush and we'll just stencil the wording on and i always remove my stencils whenever the paint is wet so i don't have any problems with the paint peeling back up in the letters so i'll just weed out all of the portions on the stencils there now we're going to paint i used christmas green and i think that's flamenco red i think that's how you say that it's the darker red um, i'm going to paint two of these blocks with the red and one with the green just like in the inspiration picture 
I do all sides, front, back, everything. I like my finished or my products to look finished all the way around. So we'll just give those a good coat of paint. And I did lose my footage somehow um, with the letters, the little wood letters that spell out the word joy for these blocks. They are from a small wood letter pack from the Dollar General. Uh, Dollar Tree also sells the little wood letters, so you can look for them there also. And you only need J, O, and Y for this project. So once we get these painted, we'll move on, set those aside, and move on to the next part. Sorry, I didn't realize I left so much painting in here. I meant to cut that down a bit because it is pretty self-explanatory there. But we don't want just a good coat of paint on everything so we don't have to go back in and repaint. Now we're going to glue the, the foot stands. I'm going to call them on the back of the tall wood pieces. I'm just using gel super glue for those. And then to put them on the back of the pieces, I'm going to put a little dot of wood glue in the middle of the super glue there. I've always had good resu results with the gel super glue. Now while those are setting up with the glue, I'm going to go ahead and do the twine center to the other blocks. And this is twine. I think I got this pack at Ollie's, but uh, you know, Dollar Tree also has twine. Same exact thing. We'll just put a nice little thick area of twine wrapping around the center there. And we'll do that to all three of them. Just like the inspiration picture. Just secure it with a little bit of hot glue and it'll be fine. It'll hold. We'll get those set up. And I'm lighting them to get all the little hairs from the twine off of there. And here's my letters that I had painted white. Just going to go ahead and glue those in the center. And then I'm going to find my placement and I'm going to use hot glue and wood glue. Make sure you don't mix them because they will like cancel each other out. A couple dots of each and then I've got a couple of the small poinsettias from the Dollar Tree and a couple other berry picks and a little bag of their um, small pine cones also we'll be using to put the embellishments on this project. So we'll go ahead, just like the inspiration piece, we'll put a poinsettia at the top and then in the middle there we'll use the, the pine cone out of this little mini pine cone pack. We'll put a pine cone and we'll clip off some berries off of a berry pick to put around the pine cone. And then at the bottom I picked off a just a like frosty piece of greenery to put down at the bottom with some berries. It's another one of those Christmas picks from the Dollar Tree I just picked a piece off of. <laughs> this is funny. I had um, I had a bunch of hot glue strings all over the place and I can't stand them. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I'll just put my lighter up by the berries and I burnt them. Look at that. Oh my goodness. But luckily, you know, that's easily fixed. You can just glue a couple berries on top of it. No big deal. <laughs> but I, they are foam and they do burn very easily. So now we're just going to take a little bit of buffalo check ribbon wrap it around the tops of these uh, wood planks here. We'll get that done first and then we'll make three little bows to go on all of them with the same ribbon. And I'm just securing with a little bit of hot glue, dab in the front and then securing the back with another dab of hot glue. And here we go, we're making the bows. I'm just figuring out, 
you know, about how big I want them to be. Cutting my little dovetails before I even make the bow, so I don't have to worry about that after I've made it. And basically how I do these bows, it's a, it's a simple trick. You just loop the ribbon around, almost like a cancer awareness ribbon, and cinch the center. Just pinch the center. I'm taking a piece of jute twine and I'm double knotting it in the back. And that's basically it. It's very simple to make these little bows. Um, so I do that for all three. And after I get them all done, I go back and I cut off the excess twine from the back. We're not gonna need that on there to show. And I've got this pack of mini jingle bells I got at Dollar General. Dollar Tree also has several different types of packs of bells also that you could pick up. Uh, I just happened to be at the Dollar General that day and picked up a couple of those. I'm taking some cotton twine, the white from Dollar Tree, and that's what I'm going to use to tie my bells up with. And how I'm going to do that, I'm just going to feed a bell into the end of the cotton twine there. I'm going to make a double knot, secure it with a dab of hot glue, and then cut off the excess so that the, the bell is hanging at the end of the string. And I'll do that on both sides of the string, and then I'll, you know, check the length of it there and make a knot so I can glue the knot down and cut off the excess on the top there. Because each each one of those planks of wood is a different height, so our bell length, the string, the length of the string is going to be a little different for each of them. So we'll just continue and we'll do that for all three. And then what we'll do is we'll glue the, the string with the bells on first, and then we'll put the bow on. And we'll do that, you know, just down the line there. And then we'll go back and we'll embellish with the pine cones and berries and leaves and everything. That way the base is made. Okay, so now we're coming back. And I'm just going to use one leaf. Actually, three little pine cones and a little thing of berries on each one of these. And with this one, I started with the pine cones first. I put the I put two of them on there, and then I put a little thing of berries in the middle, and then I cut a leaf off of one of the poinsettia flowers, and I just glued it on there. And I do the same for the other two, and then I changed my mind and I went back, and that's when I added the third like little mini pine cone on there. I thought that that looked a lot better with three little pine cones instead of two. So <clears throat> we'll just do that. We'll get these all glued on there. We're almost done at this point. The other project is completely finished. We don't need to do anything else with it. So it's just finishing up this one and then we are all done with both projects. Get our pine cones. One of those berry picks from the Dollar Tree actually goes a really long way when you're making crafts like this. You can cut them apart into a million different pieces and you only need a few berries here and there to make a big difference in a project also. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> now here we are with the, the last little pine cone. I'm just going to stick those on there and then the last step is to take a little bit of white paint i'm going to use waverly's white chalk paint and a small paintbrush and i'm just going to paint i don't know a little faux snow let's call it a little bit of frosty snow onto the pine cones and the berries just for an added little detail and then we're all done we are completely done after this step you could um, seal your projects with some polyacrylic if you wanted. I did not do that to either of these projects. Um, they'll just be sitting on a shelf or, you know, on a fireplace in my house. So, but I stuck them on this shelf here just to show. And 
here they are. I think they turned out really cute and very much like the inspiration pictures. Very close. I actually like how that looks with the different blocks of woods going different ways. And the peace, love, joy. It's, it's so pretty. That barn red stain is gorgeous. And the, just a little detail that's on there. The, the ribbon, the pine cones. It's very cute. Very, very Christmassy. Nice, fun, easy projects. It'll go well with the rest of the decorations whenever I finally can get around to putting them up. But we still got a little bit of time, so we're good. <laughs> and I hope um, you guys give this project a try. It was fun. I enjoy projects like this, and I hope you do too. And as always, I would appreciate it if you would like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.